Let's take a look at some basic hardware connections. If you're using the built-in sound card on your PC, the connections are quite simple. Make sure you use a cable or adapter that has the proper connections at each end. Here we're using an 8th inch stereo jack to two RCA connections so that we can connect to our stereo. If I'm using a controller via the MIDI ins and outs, go ahead and connect those cables to the back of your keyboard and connect those cables to the back of your interface. Remember, MIDI goes out of the interface into the keyboard and out of the keyboard back into the interface. Go ahead and connect the USB connection. But make sure you refer to the manufacturer's installation instructions as that is the best resource on how to properly install your sound card. When using the internal sound card as your audio device, you may want to open up the Windows Mixer utility directly from the main view toolbar. From here, select Properties and make sure that you have Recording selected and that your line in and microphone inputs or other inputs that you want to record are selected here. Once you press OK, you can then choose which inputs you want and also their levels. The first time you run the application, there are a series of steps you'll need to take to make sure you're getting the best performance out of it. First thing to do is go to the Options menu and select MIDI Devices. From here, I can actually choose which MIDI devices I want to enable or disable inside of the application. As you can see, I have one MIDI in and one MIDI out, and I have those checked to turn them on. If I want to rename them, I can certainly do that as well. In addition, from the Options menu, I want to select Audio. From the Audio Options dialog box, I need to run the Wave Profiler. This is something you should only need to do once. Go ahead and press this button down here at the lower left-hand corner. Press Yes. At this point, my audio interface has been optimized for use inside of the application. If I'm using the built-in sound card, make sure that you're using MME and not ASIO or WDM. This can be set from the Advanced tab and the Driver mode. As you can see, we're using WDM. To adjust the setting, simply highlight the one that you want and then press OK. At this point, you're ready to begin recording audio and MIDI.